because image alone is uh, the shoe that promotes Chilean filmmakers women abroad. Tell viewers about yourself. My name is Idris Abai Jalo. I am an entrepreneur, a digital artist, brand creator, and strategist. Okay. Now, brand creator and strategist. How long have you been into the uh, film industry? I have been into the film industry more than a decade. I was been into the industry since I was, uh, I was like, um, I can remember I was like 12 years old. I started falling in love with films. I was, um, there's one time I was looking at a film called The Matrix. Because I just fall in love with how people create people climbing the wall, you know, balancing bullets on amazing stunt so i started falling in love with being creating the art inside of me so that's how it's one side your own aspect of uh, of career into the film industry is a bit uh, different and it, it's a bit amazing and uh, we don't have your kind that much so how do you see people working with you basically being a digital artist is like um, being um, a creator. I was like, um, let's just make an example of a creator. You have to definitely sit down and bring ideas to reality, you know. And um, in this part of the world, we are not that many, as you say, because of the, the kind of resources, the kind of uh, technological tools that we, we have access to. But uh, for me, I've managed to navigate in that industry for more than a decade now because of the love and passion I have for it. And uh, I go the extra mile to get most of the stuff I use. Okay, that's beautiful. Now, recently, we, we noticed you got a certificate from Adobe as one of the specialists. In Sierra Leone, yeah, and now you are the second specialist, Adobe specialist in Sierra Leone. How did you feel? Getting an Adobe certified specialist uh, certificate it's like um, a dream come true because i've been using the subject for many years i started attempting for that certificate in 2013 my first attempt was in 2013 they rejected me i went again 2015 they rejected me 2017 again i went to the site um, they also rejected me because i, I was not um, that qualified to do and have the you know, entrance exam which is like um, like a, a very, very tedious examination you have to go through and some process. So finally, in 2021, I was certified as a video specialist. Let's say we have young people who are aspiring to be like you. What would be your advice to them? Okay, my advice to young people is that do what you love. Be consistent. Be resilient. Focus on yourself. Okay. So if, if now somebody wants to be uh, an editor, VX uh, creator like yourself, what does the person have to put in place in terms of gadgets, resources, and you know that thing? First of all, um, I'll just say to myself, I started with um, a machine at the, uh, those days that called Cortin. Meaning you, the, the, there's a laptop, that does not have a screen. So I have to go and buy a screen, a monitor to connect to that laptop. So I started with um, a non-machine, non I'll say, at that time. Non-monitor machine? Non-monitor machine. Like, I'll say non-machine, because um, at that time, you cannot, um, you cannot even install the software. I had to go again and struggle a more. You know, I've been through a lot of challenges. So you starting to be an, um, a visual effect editor as part of your visual effect editor. First, you have to go the passion. Because being a creative artist is um, doing what you love. And uh, the love will drive you to a journey where you will not expect. So, first, you have to go the love. Second, get yourself a good computer. Third, be curious. Fourth, number four, be um, an extra extra and critical thinker mm. that's beautiful <clears throat> to hear and i do believe young people who are aspiring to be like you are hearing from you exactly 
Now, let's come to the industry itself. From the time you joined the industry to now, the film industry to now, how did you rate the industry? For me, since I, I started um, my journey in the film industry to now, I believe um, we are in an age where we are succeeding. It's just a matter of time and um, getting the right structures in place as um, the stakeholders are trying to work on that in place now. And um, we are doing better because back then you, everybody would just wake up with one, um, one morning and say, I'm a film editor, I want to do uh, graphics and all this stuff. But now you cannot just jump into just doing the thing. You have to go through a clear process that they are structuring right now, which is in the game. I will advise um, filmmakers and young filmmakers to join the game because uh, it's something that's um, beneficial. I've seen it other places, other parts of the world before. So now we are we are three times or ten times better than three years ago. Uh, we have we noticed that you traveled to Ghana, Liberia to kind of like follow your dream. So how was the journey? Uh, traveling to another African country makes me more focused and determined. It changed the way I think, it changes the way I see things, it, changed my, it changed, changes my narrative about um, um, the job I'm doing right now currently. It tells me that this is a valuable job, this is a life-changing job, and since that time my life has changed a lot. Because um, back, back in the days, if you tell um, your parents that you're a filmmaker, they'll see you like an idol. But, like, I'm, a, I'm a victim to that situation because my parents um, yeah, like wanting me to go more further and um, study medicine and uh, that was not my dream. Um, creating the art is always my passion so it changed, changed my life a lot. Now I can um, at least able to take care of myself, take care of the people around me and do transform people. But now I'm mentoring many people, people are following me, I'm inspiring young youth, so that's changed my life. So let's say uh, you've done a lot, but what do we expect for the future, in the, in the nearest future? What do we expect from you? I have done, for me, people see that I have done a lot. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't feel like I've done anything yet. Because this is the right age, and this is the right time, and I have lots of things to do. So people should expect the, uh, more good stuff from Kai, more creative stuff, and more and more and more other creative minds that will be coming from my side. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank you very much uh, for accepting an interview from Email Salon.